This is the Xiaomi 13 Pro, Xiaomi's new top-tier camera phone. It brings a main cam with the same huge sensor we saw in last year's Xiaomi 12s Ultra. Plus, there are a bunch of other goodies here as well. I'm Will for GSM Arena, and let's see what the Xiaomi 13 Pro is all about in our full review. The Xiaomi 12s Ultra was a beast of a camera phone, which unfortunately was limited to the Chinese market. But now with the Xiaomi 13 Pro, we have a better and more refined version, and the best part is, it's gone global. The main cam with a cutting edge 1 inch type sensor is back, along with a new ultra wide and new telephoto zoom. Plus you get a brighter OLED screen, a new chipset, and faster charging too. The Xiaomi 13 Pro brings a sleek curved design. Both the front and back panels taper into a thin aluminum frame. The back is made of ceramic and quite glossy, and a bit slippery. Probably it's the large square camera bump which is the most memorable design accent. The Xiaomi 13 and 13 Pro are also the first globally released Xiaomi phones with IP68 rated ingress protection, something we've been waiting for for a while. On the front, you get a 6.73 inch curved LTPO OLED display with a 1440p resolution, a 120Hz refresh rate, and Gorilla Glass Victus protection. It's very similar to the 12S Ultra's screen, except that the max brightness has gotten a boost. We measured up to around 530 nits with a manual slider, and it can go up to 1250 nits in auto mode in bright conditions. This high res panel is extra sharp at 522 ppi. And of course, as an OLED, you get those super deep blacks. There's support for 10-bit color depth, as well as HDR10+, and Dolby Vision. And the colors can be very accurate, depending on the color mode you choose in settings. As an LTPO display, the refresh rate is extra adaptive. You get the smooth 120Hz while you're interacting with the interface. And it can dial down to as low as 1Hz to save energy, depending on what's on screen. You also have the option for an adaptive resolution in settings. So the phone would dial down from QHD to Full HD, depending on the content, to save you even more power. For audio, the Xiaomi 13 Pro has a stereo speaker setup with Dolby Atmos support. Loudness is very good here, and the sound quality is good too, with great vocals and some bass. <laughs> The Xiaomi 13 Pro comes with 256 or 512 gigs of storage on board. This isn't expandable through microSD though. You can wake up and unlock the Xiaomi 13 Pro with an under-display optical fingerprint scanner. And if you hold down your finger on the scanner, you can use it to launch an app or function as soon as the phone is unlocked. The interface of the Xiaomi 13 Pro is the company's latest MIUI 14 based on Android 13. It hasn't changed too much compared to what we've seen before but it does bring behind the scenes optimizations for better performance. Other optimizations include automatic compression for apps that are not actively used, and the option to turn off permanent notifications. You also get enlarged folders, which save space on the home screen while still being convenient to use. For some reason though, you are missing many of the new features of MIUI 14, which were unveiled in China when the UI launched. Instead, for now, what you get is a pretty standard Xiaomi UI that feels quite familiar. As a new flagship, you'd expect the latest chipset, and the Xiaomi 13 Pro doesn't disappoint with this Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Compared to the previous generation, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is more powerful and at the same time more power efficient. Plus, it also supports advanced memory tech like UFS 4.0 and LPDDR5X RAM. In CPU and GPU benchmarks, the Xiaomi 13 Pro sits at the top of the charts only slightly bested by Samsung's flagships with their overclocked chipsets. This is some of the best performance you can get out of a phone these days. And even better, the Xiaomi 13 Pro impressed us when it comes to thermal management. It was able to maintain high and stable performance throughout our prolonged stress tests, and the phone didn't become hot to the touch either. The Xiaomi 13 Pro has a 4820 mAh battery, and battery life is quite good here. The phone was able to earn an endurance rating of 115 hours in our proprietary tests. That's better than the 12S Ultra and a huge improvement over the Xiaomi 12 Pro. The Xiaomi 13 Pro also brings support for faster charging, with a 120 watt adapter that's included in the box. It's incredibly speedy, able to charge the phone from 0 to 81% in just 15 minutes, and up to a full charge in a total of 22 minutes. 
There's also support for 50 watt wireless charging and reverse wireless charging. Finally, we're on to the main event, the cameras. The Xiaomi 13 Pro brings the same 50.3 megapixel main camera we saw in the 12S Ultra with this huge one inch type IMX 989 sensor. This large sensor is still cutting edge in the smartphone world. And one of its impressive properties is the ability to provide a naturally blurred background behind your subject. Besides the main cam, there is a new 3.2 times telephoto zoom, which can take macro close-ups and an ultra wide cam with autofocus, both using the same 50 megapixel Samsung JN1 sensor. The Leica collaboration is back, and that means a red theme in the camera menus and Leica color science. You can switch between the Leica vibrant and Leica authentic color modes on the fly. The phone shoots in Leica vibrant by default. These photos from the main cam are likable with plenty of detail, great sharpness, high contrast, and saturated colors. The dynamic range is good, but not over the top. However, some fine details like foliage do come out with plenty of sharpening, lending an over-processed look. Photos taken in the Leica authentic mode have a different color tuning, and together with the vignetting in the skies, leads to a moodier look. The photos also appear less processed, with a more natural rendition of foliage and greens in general. The main camera also offers 2 times lossless zoom, and there's a dedicated toggle in the viewfinder. These are decent, with less detail, but still enough. The noise, colors, contrast, and dynamic range are basically the same. There are a bunch of options available when it comes to taking portraits. Those taken with the main cam are great, with excellent looking subjects, proficient separation, and likable background blur. The default portraits are taken with the telephoto cam though, and they are impressive too. The subjects look great, and the bokeh is lovely. Regular photos taken with the telephoto at 3.2 times zoom are great. You get plenty of detail and sharpness, high contrast, low noise, and punchy colors. The dynamic range is good too. The zoom camera also doubles as a macro shooter. Its lens is able to focus from as close as 10 centimeters away, and the close-ups we shot with the telephoto are outstanding. They're the sharpest ones we've seen lately, with excellent detail, wide dynamic range, and vivid colors. The ultra-wide camera takes great photos. The detail here is better than you'd expect for this sort of camera, with a natural looking rendition. The noise is minimal, contrast is good, colors are accurate, and the dynamic range is wide. In low light conditions, the Xiaomi 13 Pro will apply its night mode processing automatically. These sorts of photos taken with the main cam are impressive. They're among the best nighttime images we've seen lately. The resolve detail and overall rendition are class leading. The dynamic range is impressively wide, and most of the highlights are handled with great proficiency. The white balance is outstanding, and the colors retain a really nice level of saturation. You can also toggle on a dedicated night mode, and the result is very similar. You may see some small improvements in the overall contrast and dynamic range. Even without night mode, the primary camera offers class-leading photos, besides the average dynamic range and blown highlights. The auto night mode photos from the telephoto camera have a lot of detail, wide dynamic range, and outstanding exposure and color saturation. The toggled night mode shots look more or less the same as the auto ones here. And if you turn the night mode off, the photos are darker with lower dynamic range, but you can sometimes get more detail. Automatic night mode photos from the ultra wide camera are good, with a satisfying level of detail, low noise, saturated enough colors, and great dynamic range. The dedicated night mode sometimes improves on the skies and the dynamic range, but for the most part you get the same results as auto mode. And turning the night mode off will get you a photo that's a bit darker and noisier. The colors are still likable and there's enough detail. The Xiaomi 13 Pro has a 32 megapixel front facing cam and the selfie quality is a mixed bag. The contrast, colors, and dynamic range are great, but the detail level is just average here. Now on to video recording. The main cam can record in up to 8K resolution at 24 FPS. The quality is great with enough detail, low noise, and impressive dynamic range. The 4K clips from the primary camera are superb. They have a lot of detail, and the processing seems more balanced than the 8K footage. The colors are vibrant, contrast is good, and the dynamic range is excellent. The telephoto camera captures superb 4K videos with plenty of detail, accurate colors, wide dynamic range, and well-handled noise. The 4K videos from the ultra-wide camera are very good too. Just like the rest of the cameras, this one captures detailed videos with excellent dynamic range, great color presentation, good contrast, and natural rendition. Electronic stabilization is available on the main and ultra-wide cameras, 
and it does a great job. In low light, the main cam's 4K videos have enough detail and good color saturation, and the noise is kept low enough. The videos are somewhat darker than we expected and have low dynamic range. But there's also a night mode available for the main cam's video capture, and it greatly improves the exposure and the dynamic range. The colors get a noticeable saturation boost too. Low light 4K videos from the telephoto camera are quite usable. There's enough detail, true to life exposure, good looking colors, and okay dynamic range. The low light ultra wide videos are dark and noisy, and the dynamic range is low. They're still usable, but nothing great. So that's the Xiaomi 13 Pro. It improves upon what we liked in last year's Xiaomi 12S Ultra, starting of course with the global availability. And as a top flagship, it's quite competitive, especially when it comes to things like the display, the fast charging, and the camera performance. There are a couple of things which aren't ideal. The average quality selfie cam, and the lack of any user-facing updates in the UI compared to past phones. But even so, the Xiaomi 13 Pro is an excellent camera phone that's definitely worth recommending if you have the money to spend. Thanks for watching guys. If you're looking for alternatives to the Xiaomi 13 Pro, one option could be the Vivo X90 Pro. Or you could have a look at Samsung's Galaxy S23 Ultra. Let us know what you guys think, and I'll see you on the next one.